is Josephine Powell from Section 2, and I'm going to be demonstrating the IV med administration from primary tubing. So the first thing that I'm going to do is check my doctor's orders, and I see here that my doctor has ordered vancomycin 500 milligrams mixed in 100 milliliters of sodium chloride every six hours. So then I'm going to check that up against my MAR, and on my MAR here I have listed vancomycin 500 milligrams IV and 100 milliliters of sodium chloride every six hours. And then I'm going to check my drug card, and I'm going to check for side effects, contraindications, nursing implications, infusion time and rate, action purpose, and the recommended dose. So the recommended dose seems correct for my patient, 500 milligrams every six hours. The infusion time is going to be over 60 minutes. Um, one of the side effects that I really want to watch for with the vancomycin is called the Redman syndrome, and it can happen if the infusion rate is too fast. So we're definitely going to watch my patient for that while I'm infusing this. Um, I'm going to check his labs, the bun and the creatinine, as well as the peaks and troughs of the vancomycin, which is very important. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my MAR and I'm going to compare it with my... I'm going to compare it with my drug here. We got vancomycin one gram per milliliter. So we're going to drop 0 0.5 of this. So I'm going to do my hand hygiene. my gloves. Got my gloves on. Okay, so I'm going to get my syringe, my needle here. I'm going to clean the top of my bottle and make a mycin, which I already figured I'd draw up a half a milliliter. So I'm going to mix my half a milliliter into my mini bag here. I'm going to clean up my port. And I'm going to insert my drug. Okay. And then I'm going to gently agitate it. I'm going to label my drug with the patient's name, the medication that I've inserted, the amount of medication I've inserted, and then I'm going to put the date, time, and initials on the back of the drug. Then I'm going to get my primary tubing. I'm going to make sure that it's closed. And then I'm going to prime my tubing and make sure that there's no air bubbles. Okay, so my tubing is primed. And I'm also going to label my IV tubing with my date, time, and initials. And I'm going to set this aside. Okay, now I'm going to draw up my normal saline. So that I can check the patency of my patient's IV. So I'm going to get a new blunt tip here. I'm going to get a 10 cc syringe. I'm going to get my bloodless needle. to pull up six mil 
ventilator some yeah. air. Insert this into my sodium chloride. And I'm going to pull back six milliliters of sodium chloride. Okay. Recap my needleless system. Alright, so now I'm ready to go into my patient's room. I'm going to remove my gloves and perform hand hygiene. Okay. So I've got my medication, my saline. I've got my more. Now I'm going to go into my patient's room. Hi, Mr. Jones. My name is Josephine, and I'm going to be your nurse for this evening. Your doctor's ordered some vancomycin to be given to you for your IV. It's to help with the infection that you have in your abdomen. I see here you've had it earlier today, and you didn't have any adverse reactions. Is that correct? Okay, I'm going to check your name band here. Can you tell me your name and your date of birth? And you don't have any allergies. Is that correct? Okay, very good. Okay, so I'm going to place my mar and my children on the table. I'm going to take out my medication with the label facing towards the door. <laughs> All right, Mr. Johnson, I'm going to check the patency of your IV, okay? So the IV is infiltrated, doesn't feel tender or anything. Okay, that's great. Okay, so at this point, I would do my hand hygiene and I would change my gloves. Okay, so now I'm going to get some alcohol. And I'm going to check for IV. I would use the ASOSH method if this was a PICC line, which would be to aspirate saline, administer the medication, saline, and then heparin. But since this is a peripheral line, we're not going to use the heparin unless it was hospital policy. So first, I'm going to clean off this hub. And then I'm going to take my normal saline that I had drawn up, and I'm going to administer three ml in a push-pause method. So push, pause, about a half a milliliter with every push. Push. Pause. Push. Pause. And I'm going to clamp it while I have pressure on the plunger. So then I'm going to remove my saline. And I'm going to recap it with the sterile end of the needle device here. And then I'm going to get my IV medication. I'm going to clean the port again. I'm going to remove the cap. Then you would have to connect this to my patient's IV. Then I'm going to open the IV and I'm going to come over to my roller ball. I've already done my yeah, here it is. And it was 100 milliliters over 60 minutes and the drop factor on my IV tubing I saw was 10 so the drop factor will be 17 drops per minute okay so now I'm going to watch my chamber and I'm going to move my roller ball until I get approximately 17 drops per minute okay so that's running at 17 drops per minute like it needs to all right, Mr. Johnson, this will take about an hour to run, and I'll be back in about an hour. If you notice any pain or tenderness or itching or anything at the site, please let me know. If you start to feel anything abnormal, let me know, okay? All right, thank you, sir. So then I would leave the room. Okay? So then upon coming back into the room, I would perform hand hygiene and replace my gloves. Um, and then now I would come in and say, okay, Mr. Johnson, it looks like your medication is finished. How did you tolerate that medication? Do you think you did okay with it? Okay, that's great. I don't see any signs of any red man syndrome. The IV site looks good. There's no swelling, redness, no paleness or coolness. It's not infiltrated. So I would go ahead and I would stop this IV antibiotic. Okay. I would close the IV line here. <laughs> I'm going to disconnect. I would recap this 
and hang it here for somebody else to use at a later date as long as the tubing was still good. I would get some alcohol and I would clean this. Again, if this was a pick line, I would be using the ASASH method and after I administer the saline, I would administer heparin as well. So I'm going to clean this. I'm going to flush his IV with three ml of saline with a push-pause method. So I would push and pause about a half a milliliter with every push. And then I would clamp it while there was pressure on the plunger. Okay, so that looks good. So therefore, we are all finished with this medication. So Mr. Johnson, I'm all finished with your medication. If you need anything, just let me know and I'll be back in a little while to check on you, okay? Alright, so then I would clean up my mess, that would go in the sharps, the stuff would go in the trash, and then I would go document, and I would document on the MAR, the medication that I gave, the amount that I gave, what it was mixed in, I'd also document this in the eyes and nose on the patient's chart, I would make a note of how the patient tolerated the drug, and if there was any adverse reactions, and then that's about it. Thank you for watching my video.